Our first guest tonight is an Emmy and Academy Award-winning actor you know from Basic Instinct, Wall Street, and Fatal Attraction. He stars in the Netflix series The Kaminsky Method, which is streaming now. Let's take a look. You know, I wake up every morning, my first thought is, what part of me is not working today? Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Sometimes when I laugh real hard, I fart a little. Oh, please, you're still young. Well, you're my age. Every time I sneeze, I hear rattling around on my hips. It feels like a foreign object broken loose. <laughs> yeah, we are passengers on boats slowly sinking. Please welcome back to the show Michael Douglas, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Seth. Always a delight nice to, to have you Thank here. You. Nice for you to have this me. This is a great. show uh, about people getting older. About people getting older. I don't know how they cast me. Yeah. I couldn't figure this out, man. They just came to me. I said, this is a stretch, man. This is a real stretch. <laughs> well, there is one thing that I would lead you lead me to believe that it would seem like a stretch to you, which is your father, Kirk Douglas. I know I'm going back out to L.A. He is about to have his 102nd birthday. I'm going out. Uh, I'm going out Sunday. Sunday, he's 102. 102, uh, which is, I mean, what a gift to you and your family to still have him around. I, except I'm afraid it's a generation skipping thing. You know? Oh yeah. My kids are in good shape. Me, I'm not so sure. <laughs> right. They're they're already casting you as an exactly. old guy. Your dad's still alive. Right. It's not fair at all. <laughs> hey, what do you, how, what do you even do for a hundred and second birthday? Uh, not much. Yeah. Not much. You know. <laughs> No, he's gonna. First thing is very smart. Gonna make it for lunch. Okay, we there should, you go. You know, make it good, and then that lets him go out and not do his favorite line, which he's been doing for the last thirty years, which is, "I'm late for the disco." You know, <laughs> I gotta go out. <clears throat> so uh, we'll have a good time. No, he's amazing. He is. Well, so actually, I'm blaming myself. He has discovered FaceTime. Oh wow. Gotcha. Well, that's all great, except, you know, I live on the East Coast, so he hasn't kind of forgotten about the time change, uh -huh. the three-hour time change. <laughs> yeah. So he likes dinner, 7, 30, 8 o'clock, and Catherine and I, we're up, we're a bit early, you know, so it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. But So I'll get a ring, and he says, you know, hi, hi, Dad, where are you? I said, I'm in bed, Dad, I'm in bed. <laughs> you know, let me see. You know, so then he, he said... So I know, I know where he's going. So I know you just want to see Catherine, don't you? <laughs> so poor Catherine, your wife, she's gonna fluff her hair up and everything. <laughs> Hi, Kirk. You know, look at this. And, she has to get hair and makeup. Hair for and bed. makeup up for that's the, not fair at all. No, it's rough. Rough. Uh, so, do you think that uh, going back to the show? Obviously, it's a comedy. It's about getting older. Do you find getting older has humor to it? Has, has that been your experience? Thus well, far? I'm, I'm, that's why I'm doing the show. Yeah. Uh, to find to find that humor, uh, it's, it's uh, produced by Chuck Lorre. Very funny man. Pretty good, yeah. Great, you know, going back to Dahmer and Great, Two and a Half Men, Big Bang Theory, Young Sheldon, and but it's in the streaming situation, which is really cool because there's no commercials, yep. right? It can be a half hour comedy, it can be 20 minutes one week, 40 minutes the next. But the p purpose, what I read, it's a great script, was finding the humor and getting old. And I said, I think I got to read this. I got to yeah. work on that. And so we got an unbelievable response already, probably more than any picture I've ever had. And oh, that's fantastic. I'm enjoying it a lot. Alan Arkin's a lovely partner to work with, and here we go. You, another one of your co-stars is Danny DeVito, who you have long history with. Yes, and I do. And you put him in Cuckoo's Nest. You work together in Romancing the Stone. Is it true, because uh, that is a, a movie that means a great deal to me, is it true that he, Danny DeVito, I've heard him say this, and I don't know how, uh, you know, how good a source he is that he saved your, your life. Going. Did he I save your life? life with this thing. I can't believe that he gets away with this story. Okay. <laughs> he, he, yes, I had, we were down romancing the stone and a snake bit me. Okay. And it bit me on the arm, right? Now, that was this, instead of it. Danny, on the other hand, says that he reached over and he sucked the blood <laughs> out of the snake wound on my arm. And at first I was doing Then he says, can you imagine what's on his balls? You know, I said, <laughs> I said, Danny, I mean, what, what he'll do for a joke, I don't know, you know? <laughs> so none of this is true? No, no, but he was there when the snake bit me, you know? <laughs> I remember sitting Didn't there. do anything, He didn't though. do nothing. <laughs>